a war fought 150 years ago comes alive in Frederick, Maryland. The National Museum of Civil War Medicine shows the life and science of the early American soldier. This is a surgeon's wall tent from the Civil War. But it's not just any wall tent, mind you, but this wall tent owned by surgeon John Wiley in 1862. The tent still looks good given that it's over 150 years old. But there's just one question. Who takes care of all of this? Meet Lori Eagleston, the curator for all the artifacts in the museum. I'm responsible for caring for them and for making sure they're displayed safely and stored safely. And there is a lot that Lori takes care of, like a replica of the pack all soldiers had to carry back then, the 11-pound Springfield musket. Now give me an M4. And other artifacts, like a standard issue, prophylactic, and a medical bedpan. Yeah, that, that kind of sums up my job right there. We get excited about bedpans. <laughs> she also takes care of a story people can follow from room to room. Transcribed letters from Union Private Peleg Bradford, a heavy artillery and infantry soldier from Maine. He writes like most soldiers at the time, homesick, proud, and describing the sickly camp life in Washington, D.C. Dear Father, I've been sick for 10 days with the measles, but I am getting very well now. The 18th Maine Volunteers continued south and attacked Petersburg, Virginia. During this battle, Peleg is shot in the knee and taken to a field hospital. When the 18th Maine had to move, Peleg is sent back to Washington, D.C. for more medical treatment. Columbian Hospital, June 23rd. Dear Mother, I am in bad shape now. I have lost my right leg. He even writes to his fiance in Maine, Cynthia. I shall always hold the promise that I made when I was back home, but as I am now, it would be better for you to break that promise, for when I made that promise, I was a whole man. But I am far from it now. Yours forever, Peleg Bradford Jr. Peleg stays in the hospital on crutches. When the Civil War ended, he receives news from the front. Owen, his youngest brother, died during the Siege of Petersburg. He was 16. Peleg is discharged from service and moves back home. He marries Cynthia, they have eight children, and they ran a sawmill until his death in 1918, leaving behind the homemade prosthetic leg he wore. This same leg is on display in the museum under the care of Lori Eagleston, who takes care of more than just the artifacts. She preserves its history. Air Force Sergeant Will Bracey, Frederick, Maryland.